177. Oh, oh. What's up, AD? You just caught me doing my morning abs. If I could just get up and greet you. Ah. Whew. My name is Walker Ward, and welcome to my PA to care. Caught me just decanting a nice Barilla. Um, we're located here at 475 Broadway. Oh my God, isn't that just magical? Look at that. It's almost, it's borderline arousing, really. Oh my God. Oh, that is glorious. Well, while I have you in the main space, I like to call this room the heart of my crib. Just this open space just flows so nicely. Obviously, we have our dining table. I love to entertain. Um, my interior designer, Lucy Hers, back when we were first mapping out the spot, she called me up. I was at work one day and she calls me up and she's like, Walker, I have these chairs. I, we can get them from the MoMA for 10 grand a piece. I was like, 10 grand a piece? Boom, do it. And then next thing you know, they were here. And it just, it makes such a difference having a chair that has a history. You know what I mean? It tells a story. So anyway, we love to entertain and that's where a lot of the meals, the meals will go on. And that's a perfect transition to the kitchen. Um, this is my personal chef, Claude. I'll come around the back. Claude, what are we working on today? Uh, French onion. French onion soup. Claude knows French onion is my favorite. Cheers. Small words. Yeah, small words. He's big exactly small words, big cook. He um, he's not from here. I actually don't even know where he's from. I don't even know where we met him. I don't even know how I hired him. But he cooks a mean French onion soup and does a. Wagyu beef slider that is absolutely to die for. So cheers to that. Cheers to you, Claude. You keep chopping up those onions and try not to slice me. Okay, I'm gonna head out here. Actually, one thing before I go, I do have to say, I do have to say, if you need a good read, Julia Child, she is a goddess in the kitchen. Um, so I'll give that back to Claude. Don't kill me. I'll see you for lunch in about an hour. Thank you. Why don't we come on over here? So this is the living area here. Um, obviously, you've got the restoration hardware cloud couch, which I absolutely love. <laughs> and there go my chest pieces. See, that's the beauty of having owning a place to yourself. You can fire up the Theragot on a Saturday morning, throw your chest pieces around, look outside, see the hustle and bustle of New York City. That's the beautiful. That's the beauty of this city. Um, Unfortunately, my Thera gun is dead, but uh, I would have loved to have fired her up for you. Back in the day, <clears throat> I played football in seventh grade, Princeton Day School Panthers. <clears throat> Helmet still fits. Go blue. Go blue. Um, I was left guard, cornerback, and kicker. <laughs> I can get this goddamn thing off my head. <sighs> good. Um, I mean, I'm just getting almost emotional uh, looking at all of this stuff. I mean, I've got golf tees from all of my wonderful rounds with my friends. I have these ducks that were carved in Guam um, that I brought these little mallards hand carved in Guam. I went on a trip with my late grandmother and we picked these up and I still keep them here. I don't know, I look at them from my couch. Sometimes I'll come and I'll sit on my yak and I'll put on a nice little ditty, nice little song, maybe Rihanna's new album, Taylor Swift, Midnights, and I'll just kind of dance around and pet my yak and sit here on my own while Claude, my chef, whips up some, a nice meal and it's just absolutely lovely. And I just, you can tell I'm getting emotional just being in here because I, everything I see I find inspiration. In. Anyway, this is my pride and joy. She is my life, my inspiration. This is Lucy. And we actually have a nice little portrait of Luce right here. Here she is. This, so I was walking down the street. I was on my way back from Restoration Hardware um, the day we actually got the cloud couch. <clears throat> and there were, there was like a field trip on the street uh, out on Spring Street. And it was an art class. And they were all drawing still life still life shots of around the city. And I had Lucy and this one little girl, her name was um, Camilla, and she was such a sweetheart. She was like, oh my God, I have to draw your dog. What's her name? We got to do a whole thing. And so I still have this piece. So Camilla, if you're watching this video, 
here's your portrait. It's doing well, right below my dartboard, scoreboard. And um, Lucy says, hi, don't you? Yes, hi, Camilla. Hi, Camilla. Yeah, good girl. Anyway, I'm going to put her down because it's her weekend, too. Good girl. Sleep my party. Okay, sorry. Can we get the lighting, the uh, production intern, out of my way? What kind of junior varsity program are you idiots running over there? You know I love a fresh Diet Coke. <clears throat> In the morning before work, I always have at least one or two Bud Lights, Bud Lattes, to really get the juices flowing. We got the, we got the pantry here, nothing crazy. This is my roommate's food down there, leftover food from last night. Um, so I'm going to take you guys down. Going to show you the master. That's the laundry right there. Um, I don't do much laundry. My wonderful housekeeper Consuelo does a lot of laundry. We're going to keep our keep our voices down here because we got the baby sleeping in there. Shh. Come on in. This is where I bring on the bacon. This is where the magic really happens. Really, I just sleep in there. But this is where the magic happens. This is where it all goes down. This is where I am. Quote: Cash in checks. Head on into the bathroom. So, ah, a little leftover Diet Coke from earlier. The bathroom, the grooming station. Um, people think when they see me on the street, see me out at restaurants, see me in the office, anywhere really, on screen, they think that this comes naturally. They think it's genetic. And they're partly right, and they're also mostly dead wrong. Uh, and I get it all done. I take care of myself right in here. And it all starts with the bathtub. I would be... A shell of a human, I would be nobody if it weren't for my bathtub with my Tempur-Pedic. I'm a big Tempur-Pedic guy. Neck pillow. So I'll come in here pretty much every day. And like you probably have seen in my self-care Sunday videos, I always have my Dr. Teal's spearmint and eucalyptus. Um, I don't know what I would do, honestly, without it. So I'll come in here in the morning. Come in here in the morning. Take a nice little bath, got my rubber ducky there. Just relax, collect myself, plan, plan, plan my attack for the day. Um, and then I'll hop out, I hop in my shower, and we need to go in there. You can see what, you can see what goes on in there. Um, and then I come over here, and you know, sometimes people are wondering, you know, Walker, is your hair natural? Um, the answer is no, it's not. I bleached my hair for Halloween. And what do you do to maintain bleached hair? Sometimes it gets brassy. Uh, you use purple shampoo and you use Olaplex. I went to Ulta Beauty um, last week and they hooked me up with a uh, Olaplex package. And so what I'll do is I'll use my number three. I will leave it in there for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it bond, let it really connect, um, hydrate, and then I'll squirt my little guy here, my number zero. Um, and then lastly, this though is what I really want to talk about. Um, this guy right here, my girlfriend, Anna Catherine, turned me on to him. And, excuse me, that Diet Coke coming back up. Um, it's just an extended water sprayer. Like, you spray it once and water just continuously comes out. So I just, like, press it once and then it gets the, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. It's honestly, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> That's good stuff. And now my hair is ready to go. I can just squirt, style. The three S's, spray, squirt, and style. Let's go. Um, this is my nightstand. Okay, I mean, the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Lotion. So good, so good for skin hydration. My skin tends to get cracked all the time, like in the winter, cold winter months in New York. I always have this on me. Um, sure. It's next to my bed on my bedside table. You be the judge if it's full or empty. Let's go. Well, Claude, I swear to God, every time I walk around this apartment, this condominium, Claude is just not behind the kitchen. So I don't know what I pay this guy for. All right, Claude, French onion. Let's do it. Come on. Thank you. All the guy says is, what do you say again? Big talk, small food, something like small that? Small talk, big food. Small talk, big food. Well, how don't you shut the fuck up and make me some French onion soup? Thank yeah. you. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before Claude kills me. Um, thank you very much for coming by. I am gonna probably hop back on the couch, grab my pregnancy pillow, and uh, fire up the Great, Great British Baking Show. I'll call the elevator for you. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. 
Thanks for coming by, AD. See ya. Still coming. I just thought I'd time that better. Well, we can just hang around here for a minute. All right, thanks for coming by, AD. See you later. Yeah, you can get here. Oh, you're keeping the intern here with me with the light? Really? You left the fucking intern?